What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Real Gamer 27 and uh, first of all I want to thank you for joining my channel and uh, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Dr. Trey and a shout out to uh, Burhugger29 for starting this um, Operation Platinum Movement because uh, you know I've been watching our videos lately and they they are uh, pretty much intense about this they, they they want to get this rolling and I don't blame them. I, I'm, I don't blame them at all because they're, they're pissed off they pissed off just like me for basically getting you know basically called out by the U Ubisoft uh, CEO you know talking about that Nintendo consumers don't buy or don't play red mature games Hell, I do buy and I do play Red Mature games, Ubisoft. Hell, I done purchased your crappy ass port of Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4. I done, you know, bought Splinter Cell. You know, I done bought Raymond Legends. I done bought every Ubisoft game that y'all put on the Wii U except the Rabbits and the Dance, Just Dance. I don't play that shit. I'm a hardcore gamer. So, anyway, we need to prove to Ubisoft. And not just Ubisoft, we need to prove to Activision, you know, um, we need to prove to EA, we need to prove to all of them, even Capcom, everybody, that Nintendo consumers do buy and purchase rated mature games. We do. You know, that's why I applied Sugar My uh, My Moto uh, the other day for saying that he no longer wants to cater to the casuals because they're no longer interested in purchasing a Wii U because of the smartphones and the, the Android tablets and the, the mobile devices. I understand that. I understand that that was, that was basically in the past with the Wii. You know, you know, technology is growing so basically the, the smartphones and the, the tablets and the, the Android devices, it's so very much convenient for all the casual gamers. All I, all I gotta do is just either, you know, get their, their cell phones out their pocket and just start playing Candy Crush and Angry Birds just just played on those on those uh on those uh systems, so yeah I do apply Miyamoto for stating that, and I, I understand that some of y'all uh Nintendo guys might have got butt hurt over that, but it's true, it's true, true hurt sometimes. So anyway, with the Operation Platinum, like look, I love that game. That game looks so damn beautiful. Well, all like, like I say, it has all the the extra contents, the DLC, the two games in one for the price of $60. Now, that's how you treat a consumer. That's how you treat them. And I applaud Nintendo for doing that. I applaud them. That's why I always support them ever since I was little with the with the whole Super Nintendo. And, hell, I even had a, no, I had a, a, a regular Nintendo, too. You know, I had all of it. And then, uh, the regular Nintendo, the uh Super Nintendo, the uh, N64, GameCube, the Wii, now the Wii U. Now, honestly, I love my Wii U better than my Wii. You know, because yes, they did have a lot of casuals that, that uh, went to that system. And yeah, I, I did play, a, I, I played a few games in the Wii system. I just, it just wasn't enough games to basically keep me aboard with the Wii last gen. No, don't get me wrong. I did have, you know, I did have quite a few games with the Skyward Sword, with the Gal you know, more on Galaxy 1 and 2. With the uh, House of the Dead, you know, with the Resident Evil, now, I enjoyed those games. But like me, I'm a core gamer. I, I like, I like, I like um, other types of games. I like first-person shooter games. I, you know, you know, Call of Duties. You know, I, I like, I, I like everything. I like everything. So you know, basically, I you know like what my motto is coming from. He wants to cater to the core gamers, and you know, once that. That, that holiday comes around and, and once uh, Nintendo picks up pace and once that we leave Xbox One in the dust and um, you know slowly creep on PS4 which is still possible they can't they can't set a system based on hype forever they can't and you know uh, 2015 looks like a very very promising year for Nintendo very promising you know with all the rumors of this uh, uh, with the um, with a Nintendo remake, a remaster, whatever you want to call it, and, you know, somebody basically spread the rumor about the about the Devil's Third. He basically sp spread the rumor about this remaster game. So I kind of do believe him, and he also said that Nintendo going to get one game per month starting in 2015. So why not get excited about that? I'm very much hyped about that. 
And like I say, it looks very promising in the Wii U's future. And I, I'm not jumping ship. I'm not. I know there's been a whole bunch of haters, a whole bunch of trolls just just waiting for Nintendo to just fall off the face of the earth. You know, they done already said it. My Moto Iwata said it. Even Reggie Fisome said it. They not going to do it. They're going to stick with the Wii U hardware. They're going to stick to it. And I applaud them. You don't want to pull a Sega. I ain't got time to get to all that with the Sega situation. But you don't want to pull a Sega. That's why Nintendo is going to be the last console standing in the future. Dead witches get dragged to hell. It is what it is. These are the gates. Whatever your friend did to get on the other side of these, let's just say she's not having a good day. Welcome to hell, love. I'm not one for pets who don't listen to their master. You know, love, you're probably the only person on the planet who says, go to hell, and means take me there. I'm afraid I don't have time to dance too long. A friend is waiting for me. The time's almost up. Bayonetta, you better start creating miracles. You can go another round, can't you? <laughs> Off, feather face. <laughs> <laughs> 